Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at HobbyFarms.com, and they're talking about the different types of pruning styles that you can use for your fruit trees. Now, there are three basic shapes, the open center pruning style, the center leader pruning style, and the modified central leader pruning style. We'll go to a picture of those in a second on a different website. But I do want to talk about the open center pruning style. It's great for stone fruits because it lets in a lot of light and prevents diseases like fungal diseases and bacterial diseases from taking hold because, you know, they don't work well in light. Those funguses die under the UV light that the sun puts out. You can use this for apple trees as well. The center leader pruning style is where you have a central branch, like a traditional tree. You got one trunk and you got the little baby branches off the side of it. The modified central leader is for uh, nut trees, where you kind of you can cut off the central leader maybe down the road, thus opening up the center of the tree and allowing more light and airflow to pass through. Here we are at quickcrop.co.uk, and they're talking specifically about apple trees, but there are a lot, there's a lot of good information about pruning in here. Talking about how you should do it mostly in dormant state in the winter. You wanna make sure you prune all the way to the end of the branch, or rather the beginning near the trunk. Here is the picture that I talked about the three different styles. The central leader, traditional tree, modified central leader, you can see how it kind of splits off there. And you can cut off that central leader and open it up to an open center or vase shape. Again, I will link to both these pages in the description. There's a lot to understand. But it's good to know the three Ds, diseased, uh, dead, and damaged uh, pruning. So if you notice any diseased, dead, or damaged branches, cut those off. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, just cut them off and use clean tools. Get some rubbing alcohol and clean them up in between trees that you prune or tomato plants that you prune. You don't want to have the diseases spreading. And uh, But most pruning should be done in the wintertime when it's dormant and you don't want to take more than 30% of the branches off. That can shock the plant. But up to 30%, yeah, that's fine. They're used to losing some of their above ground growth. Of course, again, I'll link to both pages in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.